that's just ready now. You can start whenever you are. I'll mute yourself, please. Go in the end. Do from there. You can mute yourself. Om oh, Samadhi, did you say I'll, I'll mute or mute? Uh, I'm unmute, unmute. Yeah, Rupanji, it's, it's still, you're muted. Rupanji, you're, you're, you're unmuted. I can't hear you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. So, so we're going to start now. If the music is bothering you, I can always switch it off. Yes, yeah, switch it off, yeah. Okay then, thank you. I'll make it very low. Okay, if the music is too loud, let me know. Okay. So... First of all, we need to do chanting of Om three times, followed by the Gayatri Mantra three times. So, first of all, I would like you to sit straight. Spine should be straight. And you go the Dhyan Mudra. This is a Dhyan Mudra. Place it on your knees. You close your eyes and you're going to take a deep inhalation first and exhale completely and on the second inhalation we're going to chant three times. Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tatsavitur Vareniyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Tatsavitur Vareniam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Bho Bhuvaswa Tatsavitur Vareniam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodaya Om Shanti 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 Join your palm together and raise your arm. Rub your palms together now. And bring the warmth towards your face, open your eyes in between the darkness of your fingers and give yourself a good massage, your face, your cheeks, your neck, coming down to your shoulders, your chest and rest your arm. So first of all, I would like to greet you with a cordial namaste to all of you. Welcome to our morning session. Again, thank you, Pravan Paraji, for giving us this opportunity. So as I mentioned in the uh, at the beginning, we're going to share this class, myself and Govindji. 
So first of all, we're going to do the sitting down asan, which we're going to start with Tal asan. Tal asan is very good for the warming up of the spine, allowing the blood flow to the spinal part of your body. And uh, at the same time, this is the beginning of our of the stretches and asanas. So first of all, now, it's because it's a chair yoga, it doesn't mean that you have to sit on the chair all the time. If, it's, if it's you're capable of standing, that will be fine. So what we do here, sitting down, we intertwine our fingers, place it on our head, and now, if you're standing, you can stand on your tiptoes and then raise yourself up like this. You can see I'm, I'm trying to, to raise myself with the tiptoes and straightening, straightening both arms near to your, as near possible to your ears. And in how to be reversed like this. Keep it stretching. You don't have to stop breathing, just keep stretching. This is one way of warming our spine. Keep it stretching and bring it back to your head and rest your feet. So we're going to do it a couple of more times. Inhale first and stretch and lift yourself on your tiptoes and bring both arms here to your ears. Stretch, 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 and come back. You can see the warmth coming up your spine. Again, the last time, inhale and stretch. Stretch, 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 and tiptoes. Now relax. So now to, to facilitate the postures, it's good if you can come to the edge of your chair. You raise your hands again the same way. Now this time, we're going to stretch on towards your right. Keep stretching, you're creating a space in your rib cage on your left. Keep stretching, stretch, stretch, stretch and come back and again on to your stretch on to your right coming towards your left and try to keep your arms straight as you can above your head you're going down and relax so now let's do the joint rotation the joint rotation start with your wrist bring your wrist forward I'm doing the mental count of 20 seconds and now you do the anti-clockwise. One. Another five seconds. And relax. Now you bring your your hands towards your shoulders and bring your elbow together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Opposite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
strong and ten. Relax. Shake your hands now. Now. Your palm facing the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This way. Now, while we're here, we're going to roll both hands, making circle. Two, forward circle first, clockwise. <coughs> and now, opposite. Try to make big, as big circle as you can. This is lubricating your joints and at the same time allowing the blood circulation, especially of your shoulders, because most of us we do get shoulder pain, aches and pains over the shoulders because we sit down or we watch TV and we don't do much movement to our neck. So relax. Now let's just do some neck exercise. In your neck onto your right hand side and come in the middle and bend it towards your left. Come in the middle and we look up. When you're looking up, so sitting, open your jaws and close. Do it a couple of times and close. Open and close and come down. Look on this on the floor. Now, a gentle twist to your near with your neck from left to right. Make a gentle circle. Two, three, four. And five uh, from right to left. Two, three, four, five, and relax. <coughs> now let's do some. <coughs> Come up to the edge of your of your chair again. Now we're going to do the spinal warm up again. So this time we just move towards, we twist our spine. So from left to right, as far as you can look on to your right hand side. That's one. And again on to the opposite. Two. And then three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax. Now let's do some food circles. First of all, I would like you to bring your your right foot up parallel to the ground, like this. You hold it here for a few seconds. Two, three, four, five. And then you you flick it, you kick as if you're kicking ball. So one, two, three, four, five. Now the same leg, you need to make circle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
pelvic bones and settle the pelvic bone, lubricating the pelvic bone. This is a very good exercise. So just relax. And the next one is so Wendy, what's happening to my picture here? The video. Yeah, I can't see myself now. Now continue with the left leg. So now first of all we'll do some kicking. Kicking with the left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got picture near that video. Let's have a look. Okay, now wait a minute. Okay. 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 Thank you. So, so what we've done with the right now we're doing the same with the left leg. So we're doing some kicking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we get to do the same cycle with we did with the right. So now we do one. Two, three, and now, come in again to the edge of your chair. We're going to do the the forward mukhasan. Forward mukhasan, just lift your legs up and bring it towards the chest. It is called the wind releasing posture. Forward mukhasan. Keep it here, press, and bring it down. You do the same with your left leg. In here and keep pressing. So you can't fall and look up. And again, if you can bring your legs on top of each other and give exercise to your ankle, use your ankle from clockwise and anti-clockwise now if you can drop your your right leg and try to make some circle for your hip this is a very good exercise to improve your hip joints it allows the blood flow to your hip joints. So we're doing the clockwise circle. And we're going to do the anti-clockwise. No worry if you can't do, can't do it perfectly. As long as you can do a little bit of movement with your hip. It's very beneficial, especially during this time where we're, all our joints get stiff with the weather and, of course, with the age as well. So we've done the right leg. We'll do the same with the left leg. Again, it's easy if you can come toward the edge of your chair and wriggle your ankle. Give your ankle a good massage. And opposite anti clockwise. And now grab your 
your left. And as if you're going to put the baby to sleep. So you twist your it's a very good exercise again for both hips. To allow blood circulation and lubrication at the same time. So we don't we lubricated our spine, our joints, our elbows, neck, and now we're doing the hip. So do the opposite now. And relax. Now, we're going to do some bending. We haven't done the duplication for our waist, like here. Okay? So what we do, we raise the hands up, take a deep inhalation, and when we go down, we exhale. And try to see if you can touch your, your, your toes. If you can't, don't worry, just stay where you can. Either near to your knee, a little bit further down, and if you can manage, go right down, that would be fine. Otherwise, just stay here and then raise yourself up again. And now try to lean back as far back as you can. And come back. That's two. Just a bit more. And come down. This is called the head. The head to knee. The head to knee balances. We'll do it one more time. One more time. And Head to knee again. Now we've got another easy easy pose, which is uh, your right leg up with your left hands up like this. So we're going to change over as if we're going to be doing the marching. So and the right the left leg up and the right hand. So you can do it slow for now until your mind get coordinated, coordination, and so right leg up, left hand up, left leg up, right hand up, up, left, and right, right and left, straight and straight as you can, your leg parallel to the ground. Change over. Left. Hands up. As if we are marching. And try to do it a bit faster if you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten and relax. Now, there's last one, it's uh, we call it super brain yoga. The super brain yoga is very good for especially for us, age wise. So, what we do here, we apply the pressure to our earlobes. Like this in uh, Chinese we call yin yang, and this this activate our left and right brain. So what we do here, if you're standing, you're going to squat. Otherwise, if you're on the chair, we're going to do the same the same procedure but less active. So what we do here, we are if we are standing, we're sitting on the high chair like this. So if you're standing, you can stand straight. 
And if you're going to do it standing up, you can go stand straight and then squat. But if you're sitting on the chair, I'll show you the chair one first. We are on the high chair like this. And we go down completely, we exhale, and then we come up, inhale. And then we go down. And if you're sitting on the high chair, two and three and four and five and six and seven eight all the exhale when you go down inhale when you come up this is a very good exercise for the brain it helps with people who have Parkinsonism, Parkinson problem, any brain pro injury. So it helps to balance the left and right lobe of your brain. Last two. Inhale and exhale. And relax. So it is a very good exercise. So we've done that. So now it's time for to hand over to Govinji. Govinji, are you ready to take over with the standing up exercise? Thank you very much for your participation. Now Govinji is going to take over for another half an hour. Thank you. Thank you, Govinji. Namaste. So let's carry on. Yeah, I'll carry on. Uh, Continue to enjoy the... Yes. Everybody knows my name, but uh, I'm going from Reading as well. So we'll start our class by some uh, standing pop postures. We'll do some laughters. We'll do meditation in the end. And after finishing the meditation, we do the Astoma Satyam Mantra, which you on the audio. But while we, we are sitting on the chair, we do some for our eye exercise and for our lips, our lip, the cheeks as well. Let's start with our eyes. Move your eyes to your right. And then, the side. Look up. Just move your eye up. Down to the ceiling. Come back in the middle. Or would like to rotate your eyes clockwise. Two times and then anti clockwise six times. Are they around? I can come near the screen. And then I would like to open your eyes 10 times wide open and shut them. Well done all. With a smile on your face, now we'll do exercise for our cheeks or lips. So how, how we do that? What we'll do, we pretend we open the tap, tap water. Bring your palms, feel the water in your palms, and then bring the water to your mouth. Mm. Mm. 
E, e. Is it possible to highlight him so we can see it in a closer? Sorry? Is it possible to highlight yourself uh, so we highlight. can see? I'm, okay. I'm near the screen. Uh, okay, okay. No, okay. never mind. All right, let's go again. Open the tab. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that's Thank sound here. Thank you. Thank you. We can see it in, because it's a face, it's a closer. All Thank right. you. Get, get the water in your palms. Bring the mouth. Mm. Mm. And screw the other off. Well done. So very good. Also engage your, your lips, the chicks muscle as well. So now we do a bit of laughter and then we'll move to our standing postures. Again, sit down. The laughter. First, we'll do the, the trial one. Bring your hand in the front. You see, ha ha, ho ho, ho ho, he he, ho ho, ho ho, ho. Right now, everybody knows how to do. So we do this two times. Smile on your face, everyone. Ha ha, ho ho, he he, ho ho, ho ho, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done, all. One more time. Ha ha. Ho ho, he he, ho ho, ho ho, ho. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done. So that's good. Now we do a bit of clapping. The clapping is also very, very good. So when you do clapping, open your palms like this. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll clap. We'll clap. With the Gaitri mantra. Yeah, so you can sing along with the mantra and we clap as well. Okay, so let's do that. are also in our feet as well. So when you walk bare feet, they're all there, okay? What they say, the beauty is in our hand. So clapping is very good. It activates all our organs, our parts in the body. Also making the wrist and opening is also very beneficial as well. So what we'll do, we'll make a wrist 
as you do the inhale and exhale out. Inhale and exhale out. Inhale and exhale out. Good. So everybody knows the index finger, which is this one here. So when you bring your index finger down, it touches this part here, which is your adrenal gland or BP point. Okay, down here. Okay, so when you're making this, it's just here. Now we come to middle finger. So middle finger. This is your right hand, yeah. Your kidney point is here. When you press this point, it's your kidney. All right. And I will know your ring finger is this one here. When it comes to touch here, this part is your pancreas. Okay, so when you're doing clapping or when you're making wrist, it comes and touches here, pancreas. And then come to your small finger, comes to here. I will know we got our liver point here. Okay, so when you're doing this, it's activating all those organs in your body. Okay, coming to the left hand. They're all the same apart from your small finger, okay? Everybody knows our, our uh, heart is here. So this belongs to your heart organ here. So when you do that, organs. So when we make a wrist and opening, it activating all those organs. Good, so that's it. Clapping, what we do, we do some thumb web. We do some thumb web like this. Put it around. Then you come to the finger web. Very, very good. Then we come to the side. Then what we do, we make a wrist and we just box 10 times your right palm. Two, three, four. And the other one. Eight. Well done. Now we wrist, snap a wrist. And the other hand. That will be good. Now, what we do, we'll pamper ourselves. So we'll bring your right hand out, just pamper yourself. And the shoulders going up, and head come down, forehead at the back, and the chest. The like you can stand up. Uh, legs you come back up back well done so now we're coming to some st standing postures we do some balancing if you like the support of a chair you can get hold with both hand if you're okay then you can do without the support but always listen to your own body how much you can do yeah Let's start with one leg, pull backward. Then sideways. And then rotate clockwise. Anti clockwise. Well then, then bring it to the front, the back. Fly like a Superman or Superwoman. 
and come back. You want the other leg? Okay. You can, okay, without the support, you can do the support. If you need the support, you can hold the chair. And we do the other leg. Very gently, very slowly, always. Listen to your own body, how much you can do. Sideways. Well done. Very good. Put the leg in the front. Hold it there. And slowly bring it back. And come back. Well done. Six your legs. Now, while we're doing this, we do a little bit on the spot marching. Well done. Next one, bring left hand back here. And hold your elbow just to your right side. Come back. Other hand. Just to your left. Then both hand at the back, elbows together, and then two sink to your right and left. One more time. And come back. All right, bring your hand at the shoulder height. You can bring them up. And then go up. And if no longer excel, bring them down. Very slowly, gently, bring them down. Inhale. With a long excel, bring them down. One more time. The long leg cell, bring them down. Well done. Bring six your legs. If you need a sip of water, you can have water. Let's see. Next one, we'll do some side bend, you gap in your legs. Go down. Your left hand side. Come back. Five on this side. Out of ten, count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Six legs. Now you can sit down in the chair or you can sit on the mat. You can sit on the mat.
All right, we're coming to pranama. Pranama is the breathing exercise. So what is pranama? Pranama is, let me ask this. It's composed of the root word. Prana means breathing of life, of force. Yama means the control breathing. So pranama is a control breathing. So we do that. But before we do that, we do some forceful breathing in. Rising her hand up there, and then we bring it down with exhale. Okay. So inhale. In the front. Well done. So we start with the with the breathing in and exhaling out. So we breathe in for five and exhale out for five. Adopt the Gyanamudra. Let's do that. Inhale for five. And exhale out for five. Inhale for five. Exhale out for five. Inhale. Exhale out. Inhale. Carry on. So now what we'll do, we'll inhale with the soul music and hum will exhale out. Let's do that for a few minutes. So inhale and exhale.
The next panorama we'll do is the anomalon, which is other to breathing from your left and right nostril. That we'll do for two to three minutes. Again, the way you do it, you breath your right nostril, you exhale from your left. Work your left nostril, exhale from your right. Inhale from your right. Work your right nostril, exhale from your left. Okay. That again, we'll do with the saw and hum music for two to three minutes. Let's do that. So the humming ohm sound for three times. And when we finish the Brahmari, we do the meditation. So when you do that, we both hands in Gyan Mudra, resting on your knees. But let's do the Brahmari. both hands on your knees with the eye closed. We meditate for a few minutes and then we finish with the Ashtama Sadhgamaya Mantra.
Shanti, 
chant from three times. Take a deep breath in. Absorb the energy of the Om Mantra. And then raise your hands up in the air, rub your palms together. When your palms are warm enough, I would like to bring your warm palms to your eye, absorb the energy and the heat to your eyes, bring it to your eyes. Leave it there, get to your body temperature, let it down to your face, your cheeks. And then come to Angelina. Namaste all. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, myself, Alpunji, are from Reading. So we we'll keep on continuing supporting Alpunji. We also do our evening classes in Reading, which we send the link to Alpunji all the time. So also like to join our evening classes, which are Wednesday and Friday evening. Namaste all. Alpunji. There's still half an hour left because the class finished at half nine. So what I will do, 
I will do a kapal bharati with different portions. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bharati. Okay. Yeah. I don't mind it. Okay. okay. I'll do that just there. No, no, all right, no. everybody? Good. Kapal bharati is one of the main pranayam to detox because we are working on your symptom, system, not on your symptom. Endocrine system, heart, lung, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, spleen, kidney, adrenal gland, your large and small intestine, my pro, male prostate and female, the ovian uterus, subka exercise karte. Exercise can see any lipid fat, any toxins are eradicated. The organ can perform an optimum task to promote health. This is the whole purpose behind it. Prevention, prevention. Prevention is better than cure. Yoga is not just a, it's a way of life. If you want to live long and healthy, you have to adapt the yoga daily basis. No excuses. Just like taking a medicine, but doctor has prescribed you. The Kapal Bharti is like a Sanjeevani. Let's first work on your spine, put your hand like this, take your all the way back up, stretch, focusing on your spine, do Kapal Bharti for one minute. Excellent, well done. Bring your hand down gently. Next, very important, stretch your leg in the front. Take your right leg over the left leg. Right leg over the left leg. Right hand close to your body. That keeps the spine straight. And left hand comes up like this. You're twisting yourself towards the right side. By twisting it, you're twisting your spine, plus you're exercising all the organs on the left side, your heart, your left lung, your spleen, left kidney, and so on. So do Kapal Bharti for 30 seconds. Excellent, well done. Gently lift your leg up first, way. come back to the normal position. Then take your left leg over the right leg this way. Left hand close to your body. The right hand comes up across there. You're twisting yourself towards the left side. This way you're exercising all the organs on the right side. Your right lung, liver, gallbladder, right kidney, and so on, and twisting your spine. And do Kapal Bharati for 30 seconds. Excellent. Then come back again. 
इन नाइस नो वी और भारतीय लोग हैं हम लोग कम मेहनत करके मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट खोजते हैं तो रियली सो व्हाट आई डन इज आई काइंड अडॉप्टेड द कपाल भारती इनटू सर्टेन वे टू गिव यू मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट विद द सेम एफर्ट सो फर्स्ट वी डू टू इंप्रूव योर आई एम स्ट्रक्चर इंजीनियर आई लुक एट द बॉडी एज द स्ट्रक्चर बॉडी को हेल्दी करने के लिए वन ऑफ द मेन ऑर्गन इज योर थायराइड ग्लैंड and then why you do so koi bhi air pet pe rehta hai to give you constipation and so on then need prana to give you more energy which keeps the body alive and then use that energy to detox toxin ko nikalna hai jitna zahar nikalenge dese utna dep je pavitra hoga acha rahega and then working on the liver and working on the digestive system and then working on your high blood pressure and low blood pressure i use lot of mudra to promote health to make a power first we do udan mudra four finger touching together you can put it there to so get the maximum benefit you put it across there and you twisting and you twist and you exercising all the organs on the opposite side and also your left thyroid as well when you turn to your left you twisting all the organs on the right side and like so you double benefiting improving your digestive system as well so let's do that for 30 seconds Excellent, well done. When we're doing kapal bhati, you're hyperventilating. So take a couple of deep breaths, and yeah. Next is the pran mudra. You know, sorry, vayu mudra. Any vayu trapped in your body creates a bigger inflammation, increases your pain. So that's very good for any kind of pain. So I like to do sun vayu mudra. Cuff nasty, a uh, vayu nasty dosa. Your little finger, your index finger, and middle finger, base of thumb, like this. That improve overall health, also healing and everything. You put across there, but then what you do? You keeping your head still. You move your hand back and forward to so releasing any air trapped in your body, and pre prevents the joint pain. So let's do that for thirty seconds. This is advanced yoga. This is very good for getting maximum benefit with little effort. Really slow down and relax. Well done. Usually we do this for five minutes each, but today because time limitation, we're only doing about thirty seconds each. So next, what you do is stretch your leg forward and you do grinding. Grinding is done in Ling Mudra. Ling Mudra able to heat the heat process, the digestive process improve. Also good for your waistline. So that's a double benefit. You go forward, you do that. You go backward, you do that. We do the ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and we do the opposite. You didn't end with that one. Yeah, excellent. Next, we do 
take your leg apart and on the side. If you can, you try to touch your toes or heel, depending on your back. Your back problem, don't bend too forward. Listen to your body, lead in. One, two, three. And excellent. Next, boost your mechanical. Which of a leg goes forward, opposite hand goes forward. Ten times. Excellent, well done. We've done the Udan Mudra. We've done the Vayu Nastik Dosa. Next is the Prana Mudra. What is Prana? Prana is the life force. Without Prana, body can't survive. Body to be alive, you need Prana. Prana, if you want to increase your Prana, rub your nail together like this, that will increase your Prana. Just by rubbing nail together. Pass and figure and then also just shaking your hand like this. That also improves your prana. You put your hand together, you can feel the pulsation between the palm of your hand. That's the prana. That's you feeling the prana. Can you go back to the pressure? That's you feeling the prana. The prana will drag the little finger and the ring finger. This is the thumb, other things change. This one, you don't move, everything stays still for 30 seconds to kapal to increase the prana. But this one, you breathe out forcefully and then gently breathe in. That will increase the amount of prana into your body. So you go, you breathe out forcefully and gently breathe in. So that will give extra air while you, breath is the main vehicle for prana to enter your body. The more prana will enter your body, energize your body and promote good health. Let's do that for 30 seconds. Well done. Now we're going to use the energy we have gathered to detox, which is Apan Mudra. Your middle and the ring finger touching symbol like this. Then you can do like this. The best way to put your both hand there, touching your shoulder blade at the back, and twisting around and throwing out all the toxins through your sweat, kidney function, bowel movement, and breathing out. Also, it's able to get the negative thoughts in your mind. So let's do that first. Okay. Excellent. This is the stage now I do the improve your digestive system. To improve your digestive system, you have to exercise your liver, gallbladder, your pancreas, your spleen, your kidney, and your large and small intestine and stomach. This will improve your digestive system. So that's why I use the Mandukasan in different form now. So first we're going to exercise your pancreas, making a tight fist. Take a deep breath in, breathe out completely. The stomach goes in, put this near the belly button where the pancreas, and go down as far down you can come safely, and then look up. That puts your extra pressure on your pancreas and do Kapalvati for 40 times.
and gently come up breathing in and if you have diabetes, you do that half an hour, half an hour before the meal time. Produce more insulin, it helps to balance the sugar level. Let's do that once more. Nine and look up and kapal bhakti for 40 times. If you smile, you get double the benefit. If you don't smile, you get half the benefit. It's up to you. Muskurate rahi, isi ka naam jindagi hai. And gently come up. Next is you going to exercise your liver and your gallbladder. Same as uh, spleen. Make a tight fist. Your right hand where the liver is, left hand where the spleen is. Put it there. You breathe in. Breathe out completely. And go down again. And look up and do kapal bhakti for. This will improve your liver function. Also increase your immunity by acting, by making your spleen work harder. And gently come up. Once more, make a fist, breathe in. Yes. Then look up and kapal bhati for 40 times. And gently come up. You might exercise your liver, spleen, and pancreas. Next is your stomach and your intestine. Every time you eat food, it is good in the stomach, but you get digested and then it goes out of the system to the large intestine. There's still some gas lying there. So if you do that before, then you remove all the gases to start the new process again. So breathe in, breathe out completely. Left hand over right hand in the stomach. And you go down again and look up and do kapal bhati for 40 times. No pain, no gain. Karna prega. Amare karne se apko fayda nahi hone wala hai. Apko karna prega. And gently come back up. And the last time once more. Go down and look up. And come back. Now, next is the kidney. Kidney, if you follow the belly button right down to the back, that's where the kidney is. Make a fist and tap it for 40 times at the back. That will release any kidney problem. Excellent. Just shake up again. If you have too much stress, it's one of the biggest cause of your life. So if you include, reduce your stress, breathe into your hand, and you scoop your prana, and you turn your hand right, and breathe that to your mouth longer than breathing in, slowly.
and the last thing. One of the best ways to reduce stress is that you can murder some chapter to kill it. This is your thymus gland. The top can is up in Jaiki Kamota, and plus increase your immune system by activating your T cells. The top is it. Excellent, well done. Next mudra is the Suri mudra you should do for weight loss. I like you do a cuff nastic dosa, which is a little finger and the ring finger, piece of thumb. That will energize your liver and reduce your kapha. Your weight will come from your mother's cut. Wake up now, twist cut away. Excellent. Last but the least is the people with low blood pressure or high blood pressure. They are the two conditions most people have. Low blood pressure, you do the ling mudra. For the people with high blood pressure, upon vayu mudra. In this finger, basa thumb, vayu mudra, and pran, upon mudra, both together. So depending on which condition you are, do the ling mudra or upon vayu mudra for the last 30 seconds. Gently take your both hand up in there. That was uh, just to show you how the kapal vas you can use differently to promote much more benefit. And hopefully, this is more advanced, but this is a very good way of kind of getting maximum benefit with the same amount of effort, which you're doing, you're doing regularly for a long time anyway. Really, uh, thank you for reading company, reading company. Rupamji and, and the Govindji for taking class today, helping us out. Excellent. That was an excellent session. And I just tried to top up with a, give you some bit more information again and again. It's like a networking, uh, learning from each other. Very important. Last but the least, very important one is if you pray for me, may all be happy, may all be healthy, may all enjoy prosperity, may none suffer. Om Santi Santi Santi. Class should not finish before the uh, like a uh, line pose. Sorry, put your hand like this, put your tongue out, and get looking at the third eye. Ah! Ah! And the last thing. Ah! And besides, it's good. <clears throat> And we can't finish before the laughter class to say, ho, ho, ha, ha, he, he, ha, ha, he, he, ha, ha, he, he, ho, ho, ha, ha, he, he, ho, ho, ha, ha, he, he. Last but the least, you tap your back and laugh at it. Come on, unmute yourself, all of you, and, and give me a good, let me get the,
When I went to Coventry, how did the child laugh? How did the child laugh? Talking to the girlfriend on the phone. Hello. How the old man laugh? He's sticking the hand and going. Thank you very much for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.